you know, the first time I ever saw you was the, the Vice TV show. The rest of us saw the, the episode, which I'm not just saying this because you're here, but that is my favorite episode of the season. Oh, I mean, really? Yeah, absolutely. I just like everything evolved, you know, with, with you and then the company and just how you guys go on. I, I believe it was a summer tour, right? I believe that in, was uh, a summer tour, yeah. The summer tour. And it just, you guys just going based from city to city. And you can tell it's just like a family, you guys, all the wrestlers, and then your dad too. And it's just really cool, touching to see. And then it's the kids' reaction when you guys come. You know, they're just you know crazy and just excited to see you guys, which was awesome to see. And I loved that episode. And uh, what was it like, you know, for you to be part of that, having a camera crew follow you guys? What was that whole experience like for you? Oh my goodness, actually, it. It's crazy because you constantly have a camera on you all day long. Like the camera never leaves. I feel like even when there was times where we were eating dinner, which you, this is a lot of footage they didn't even end up using, but we'd be eating dinner and the cameras would be in your face watching you eating food and everything else, just trying to get all their back stuff. Right. Yeah. Um, But it was, it was more cool to kind of see them come out um, and really experience what it was like to see like a a reservation or a community out in Canada. Right. So, uh, cause most of those places that we've gone to that you got to see, um, <clears throat> those ones we do in Quebec area, but those ones, um, they're all reservations and communities. So they're all like, uh, a lot of them are isolated, not them so much. They, uh, they got a little bit more of like all season roads and access roads that you can get to. Mm-hmm. But if vice would have came on the winter road tours, those are the, the, the famous like winter road death tours. I don't know if you've ever heard of those, like edge and Christian, mm-hmm. all those guys went on. Uh, those ones were run by Tony Candelo. Uh, those are ones that my, my dad actually runs now. So at this point he took over for Ernie Todd, who was a president of, uh, uh, AWA, NWA back in the day when they were all Alliance. Mm-hmm. And, um, he took over for CWF and they ended up running over all that. And then my dad took over. So we took over all the death road stuff, but, mm-hmm. uh, they didn't get a chance to check out all that stuff, which is even more yeah. crazy. But, uh, I guess to get back to the, your question here i'm sorry my apologies kind of no, 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 no. go ahead and love it. <laughs> uh to be a part to be a part of all the vice stuff coming in was honestly a blessing it was really cool it gave us like a really cool idea of what it was like to be filmed all the time so uh having a camera in your face all the time they were they're filming all your matches they're trying to get the kids reactions and stuff on how they felt about things um they also wanted to know like how the vibe would be with everything else, like our storylines we would tell when we came out there. So like even having uh, our Canadian uh, Matthew Mountie, I don't know if you remember him. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we would put him with one of like a, like a, an Aboriginal or Indigenous wrestlers who are your real Canadians who were here first, right? Yeah. And the story would be like, okay, well, your true Canadian over here isn't really the true Canadian because your true Canadians are right here in front of you. They are the mm-hmm. ones that you want to show and push over, right? So it was kind of cool to see the difference here. So Vice picked up on that right away. And they honestly, for their whole episode, that's what it was based on anymore, right? So they showed, they mm-hmm. gave you the idea of what it was like to be on the reserves, uh, to be in the communities and show these storylines and how they all blend together. So it was really cool experience, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I remember like even like the when Ma- Matthew Mounty came out, I think they even put that as the intro. Like that was like the first scene mm-hmm. they put in the show when he comes out in the ring and you know everyone's booing him, you know. And uh, you know, and I wanted to ask you, like, how long did they film you guys for? Like, how long were they there for? Uh that was a two-week tour. So oh, okay. uh, that one happened all in two weeks, but normally our bigger tours are like a couple months, which I wish they would have got to see some of that stuff. That stuff was crazy, but I don't think they could have did the whole month or whatever. I think that was the issue. Oh, okay. So, mm-hmm. But two weeks was that one. And that was a really sweet tour. That was so much fun. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's crazy just to think about it. Cause like every day for two weeks, like getting up and doing everything, it's just a camera crew, like right in front of you. Yeah, literally. So it's crazy. But they make things happen though. I'll tell you vice, like those guys, like there was something that happened with their plane and they made mm-hmm. like, people like get on the ball with their plane stuff and they were just like okay get us a plane from here to here and we'll make it happen don't care about the cost let's just do this yeah oh you guys really (laughs) want this to happen okay good for you guys because like plane tickets to go from a reservation to a city is not cheap but let me tell you yeah (laughs) (laughs) that's awesome and then like talking about like even the episode two like you know you even had a match with with your dad 
You yeah. guys had a one on one match, which was crazy. What was that the whole experience like too? Even getting that even footage too and being shown on, on TV having a match with that. What was that whole experience like for you? Uh, to actually see it on TV like TV was sweet. I uh mm-hmm. I almost I felt like honored, I guess I could say, because me and my dad didn't really get to wrestle too much beforehand. Mm-hmm. And this was around the time where now we were getting in the ring a lot more together. And honestly, it was so much fun. I love working with my dad. My dad's my dad's a pleasure to be in the ring with. And just watching it on TV just made it extra. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. And I like him, too, because, like, in the whole show, you could just tell that he he loves it so much. Like, he loves professional wrestling. And, like, oh. he loves putting on these events. Like, even – I remember even saying that. So he's like, like, I don't do this for the money. Like, I'm not a rich man. Like, I'm not making a lot of money off of this. But I, I love doing this. I love putting these events for the fans out there. And you could just tell how much he loves the business – and uh, also, you know, how he loves his wrestlers, too. You know, yeah. how he treats you and everyone out there, which is really awesome. And, you know, like I said, I was like, reason was why it was like, my, it's my favorite episode in the, in, the, in the series. But, you know, talk about.